All right, everybody, here we are in the Pavilion Mall in Bukit Bintang. It's a fancy mall. Very fancy mall. <laughs> and today we are continuing our amazement, really, with this burger culture in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. I said it once and I'll say it again. Before I came to Malaysia, I would not expect at all that Malaysian people would love burgers, yeah. street food, gourmet, any kind of burgers. They're really proud of these burgers. It's almost like the national dish. <laughs> it seems like it's nasi lemak and burgers, Maybe doesn't it's it? Maybe <laughs> on like with nasi lemak. So today we're headed to a place called KGB Killer Gourmet Burgers. Mm -hmm. Comes highly recommended by you guys. Our inbox is full of comments. Everyone's saying KGB is my favorite. You got to go to KGB. Best burger in Malaysia. That's right. So here we go. We got to so, find it somewhere here yeah, in this we'll... super fancy mall. Can't wait to try this burger. I Can't heard wait to try really it. good things about it. So everyone's telling us mm -hmm. you gotta try it. So we'll find KGB in this mall and uh, we'll get eaten. Right, just walking up to this place and I'm seeing burgers called Tornado Bash Double Animal. This is gonna be my kind of food, oh, Ivana. This which one do you want to try? Everything uh, on the all menu? Of them. <laughs> so here's the storefront in Pavilion Mall. There's a little bit of seating inside and then tons of seating out here. Outdoor seating. So the reason it's empty obviously because it's 11 o'clock in the morning on a weekday. <laughs> it's our first meal of the day and we're having burgers for breakfast. No regrets. No regrets. Do you guys have burgers for breakfast too? I mean, we might be the only people on Earth who, who has breakfast. I mean, who has burger for breakfast? No regrets. <laughs> so the beef here, you can actually re request it to be medium well or medium rare or rare or it's almost like steak. That's right. Now the reason other burger places cannot do that is because their burgers are full of what we're calling additives. Yeah, it's so like, it's not pure beef. It's not pure beef. But here, it could be like a pure beef. Pure beef here. So like the best quality meat you can get in Malaysia. That's Very excited. And it's all halal ingredients in this restaurant. So Good point. It's safe for you. High you quality halal beef. Oh, ho -ho. All right, guys. They let me sneak into the kitchen quickly. Incredible how the beef arrives here. Just raw beef, salt and pepper. They're not buying burgers and serving burgers. They're buying beef and creating burgers. Wow, interesting to learn about that. Really amazing. Okay, back to the meal. Wow, guys, look at all the burgers. Come on, Steve, I can't wait to eat. All right, quick, Ivana, tell me the names of the mall. Oh, God, <laughs> don't remember, to be honest. <laughs> but from all this, mm. this one looks like the biggest, got the biggest filling. This is look the... at the meat there. Mm. Look how thick it is. It's like as wide as my thumb. <laughs> wow. And this is called the Bella Bomb. Bella Bomb. Looking forward to that one. I'm also looking forward to this one, which looks like uh, steak and mushrooms and cheese. Ooh. Also a double animal. Double animal. Looking also very good. Because Early yeah. favorites. Early yeah. favorites. Wow, yeah. Ivana. Come on. Come on, let's try. Okay, let's eat. <laughs> ah. Look at all this food, guys. I tell you what, Malaysians know how to do it, man. When you go to a restaurant in Malaysia, no matter what food they serve, they know how to hook it up. Look at this, man. <laughs> so, cannot wait. What one do you want to start with, Ivana? Probably that one. This is, I purposely put this one in front of me. This one has <laughs> got to be, looks so good. Medium rare burger. It's so almost like steak. Yeah. With mushrooms and cheese. It's this cold. is my kind of burger. Yes. This is almost like something you can't really call a burger. It's, it's, it's like a steak sandwich. It's like yeah. it's way more high quality than a burger. Ooh, look at that cheese oh. melting on top. Man. First bite, come I'm, on, I'm, I'm a nervous up, to bite up. it. It looks like a work of art. Okay, here we go. Ah, it looks so juicy. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, Give no. it to me. You won't like it. I'll just keep it. Oh, no. You won't like it. Come on, man. It's unbelievable. Let me try. It's mm. steak. That's how we can describe it. It's the most gourmet burger you're ever going to have. It's mm. so steak. It's like steak, no? Mm. It tastes like you go to an expensive restaurant and you got a big piece of steak. Look at that burger, guys. I can't tell you. I can't describe the quality of the meat. It's so good. It's like so fresh and so juicy. Mm. Wow, look at that mushroom. Mm. Five stars. Let's be honest here. That made a broken scale. That could be five and a half stars. <laughs> and now, second one. The Bella Bomb. Bella Bomb. It's 
portobello oh, mushroom yeah. stuffed with triple cheese and shack sauce. So, so this big thing is a mushroom stuffed with cheese. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Will it fit in your mouth? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Dude, here goes nothing. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me see the inside. Mm. Come on out. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Wow. The mushroom that explodes with Let all this cheese it. flavor. Mm. And even though even the lemonade is fantastic. Oh my goodness, man. Oh, what look at the cheese food? inside. Oh, melting. Mm. Look at that burger right there. That's a shot. Look at that thing. Oh, that looks appetizing, man. The Bella Bomb. The names of the burgers are amazing. Packaging. I love how the buns on top say KGB on top of the bun. Mm -hmm. That's pretty fantastic, you know? Loving this place. Okay. This burger, this truffle Swiss is going to be... Oh, it's so good. This one's really good too. But this, They're both good. So good, so good. Okay, next one. Can I choose? I'll tell you what, you can have the first bite. Be a gentleman, <laughs> Steve. Come on. Okay, wow. Which one is this one? I think it's a hot mess, Ivana. Wow. It got uh, onion rings inside. Oh, look at that. That's the appetizing shot right there. Oof. Man, that's making me hungry. Okay, you eat it, Ivana. You eat it or I'm gonna grab it out of your hands like an animal. <laughs> it's hard to eat this one. Mmm. Smoking a mess. Make it a mess? That's why, that's why it's called a hot mess, Ivana. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. So you got parmesan crusted chicken. Hot wing skin. Oh this my one God. might be better than the trouble Swiss. It got chicken it's skin. It's got chicken skin and it tastes like a flavor of chicken wings, buffalo chicken wings. Oh, it got an egg salad inside too. And it's got egg salad in it. This is maybe the best one. Oh, this one's really good. And onion rings. Imagine mm. this. Onion rings, egg salad, <laughs> hot wing skin, parmesan crusted chicken. All of that, all the ingredients on its own sounds really good already. It's so good, guys. And now they're mixed into one burger. Mm. I think that one might be my mm. favorite one so far. Mm -hmm. Can I have some? Mm -hmm. The way the chicken is cooked, it's so crispy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the beef is on another level. You can order medium rare, oh. but the chicken is on another level too. Look at the chicken meat. Oh. Look how thick it is. Oh, guys, mm. so good. That's the best one so far. The hot mess. And you know what's mm -hmm. nice about it? It's legitimately a mess. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a full eating experience. Wow, that one's can't believe it's better than this truffle Swiss. Mm -hmm. Truffle Swiss I thought was gonna be the easiest to favorite one. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. Boom boom. Bobcat. Yes. Grilled beef, roasted green chili, profilone cheese, and jalapeno mayo. Ooh. Mm. This one is a nice complement to the hot mess. The hot mess is gigantic and sloppy. This wow. one is much more controllable. If you look Control. at it, it looks like a, you know, textbook burger. It's more classy. It's more classy. And the hot mess If you're wearing a suit and a tie, yeah, this one is for like, if you're in your bathing suit and you don't mind. This one is for your suit and your tie, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh. mm. This one is simple and delicate, but so good. Simple and delicate. Okay. It's not um, gigantic, it's such the opposite of this. Right. Amazing they have both options covered. So the, the green chili one, this is just green chili and beef and it's so delicious. Wow. The hot mm. mess got so much going on in one burger. Mm -hmm. And that one is classic and simple. Mm -hmm. But let me try some. Come on, mm. Steve. How mm. many bites have you had already? Never mind. Don't count my bites, Ivana. Mm. Don't count my bites. Mm. That one, you're noticing too, the buns here are on another mm. level. The buns are so soft. Mm -hmm. The buns are like buttery. Mm. That I love the sauce on this. Mm. The green chili with this quality beef mm -hmm. goes together perfectly. It's a match made in heaven. With the soft bun, oh, that was so good, man. Mm. The sauce is so creamy. Oh my god, choosing your favorite, impossible. Mm -hmm. I think it's a hot mess, and this one, but this one it is amazing. Oh man, oh my god, so good. Okay, so out of these first four, favorite one. Oh, it's so hard to just. I think I like the bobcat. The bobcat keeps it simple and is very effective. It you keeps, know what I mean? Yeah. It's not. It's nothing fancy. It's just green chili and amazing beef with a butter brioche bun. Yeah, the, I love the creamy sauce in it, yes. and you can really taste the yes. beef. Yes. Because it's just so simple. The bobcat is a burger you make at your house, mm -hmm. except this is just 
40 times better. Right. Right? It's right. not some other ingredient you don't have. This is what you have at your house, but it's just way better than what you make at your house. Pure quality beef. Wow. Yeah. That one, I think the hot mess is my favorite though. The hot mess is the best. It's you know really what I a like? hot mess. It's got egg salad in the burger. Well, yeah, what awesome. I like about the hot mess is it got the hot wings, crispy chicken skin. Yes. And I love crispy chicken yes. skin. It's the crispy so good. chicken is, is stand out in all yeah. of this. Wow. Yeah. Okay, next one. Okay. Well, this one looks really good. Tornado. 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 So this is your standard egg, onion ring, beef burger. Ooh. Imagine that. Eggs and onion rings. This might be the uh, beef equivalent to the hot mess. And this that one got a, a sunny side up egg in it. Sunny side up egg. And onion ring, yeah. Oh man. Just look at it. It looks so good. Look at it. Oh, you want that. Wow. You want it. Oh. Okay, here goes nothing. Whoa. Oh, 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 Steve is making a mess, guys. Whoa. Ah. This one's really good. This is like a breakfast burger. The egg in there is such a nice feeling. With the onion ring? Oh. Mmm, let me try. Come on now. That one's really good. I'm making a legitimate mess, though. Steve, act your age, man. Have some manners. When you get when the food gets flowing like this, your brain turns off, you know? I can't think. I'm too happy. Mm. I can't be a lady in front of the camera <laughs> with all these burgers. Sorry, guys. The tornado will turn any lady into an animal. <laughs> <laughs> nice burger. Another nice burger, honestly. Let's take a side a side detour into our um, salted mm. egg chicken wing. Mm. Interesting. Um, to be clear, not the biggest fan of salted egg. Okay. But let's try. It's quite good. It's quite good. You know what I can notice right away? Mm. The quality of the chicken wing. This is a big good chicken wing. And the quality the, the quality here is off the charts. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, every, quality, every burger, everything is the same. The quality is off the charts. Quality is A++++. Plus plus plus. Yeah. Also, the butter that they use to fry this with is so crispy. Yeah. Wow. The meat is really soft and tender. Mm. Outside is crispy and inside is soft. Good job. The salty egg one. almost makes it taste like it's covered in cheese or something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What is a good chicken wing? What should you call this place? K G C W. <laughs> Horrible joke. <laughs> Should we go in for the kimchi fries here? Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, very interesting. Let's talk about this. Kimchi fries fully loaded. Right on the top, I see a, a sunny side up egg, tons of sauce. Mm. Look at this egg action happening here. So when they say fully loaded, they really mean it. Look at this, man. There's a lot going on here. Oh, fries in the bottom. Whoa, is this rendang? What is this stuff? It's bulgogi. What is it? Korean meat. Korean meat? Korean beef. Bulgogi. Korean beef with egg and, and cheese. French fries. Bro, this is gonna be so good, Ivana. <laughs> oh, good one, Ivana. Look at that. That's what they mean when they say fully loaded. <laughs> Let's mm. see. Look, Steve, this is so big. Eat it, man. You're gonna like it. Mm. Mm. Kimchi fries. Mm -hmm. With bulgogi beef. Yeah. These are things I never thought I would eat in my life. Now once I eat them, I go, why wasn't I eating this before? Mm. In Canada, we have poutine. This is what this is. Malaysian poutine. This is Korean slash Malaysian poutine. Yeah. Malaysian mm -hmm. and Korean poutine. Yeah. Wow. Very good. But I want to save space for... Um... Mm -hmm. Is there two burgers left? Aww. Oh, I wish there were more. I'm loving this. Okay. Let's try this. What's this one? This is a vegetarian burger. Vegetarian burger. It is called Chloe's Earth Burger. Ooh, it has black bean and pistachio patty. Oh, actually looks pretty good. Pistachio is a nut, so it's bean and nut burger. Yeah. Okay. Try. This is called the nut bean. Mmm. Mmm. That's a pretty good. Um, it's good. I mean, it's not the beef burger, but it's not the beef burger. It's still good for a vegetarian burger. The guacamole is good, which is a folk avocado. Mm, it's good. Mm. It's good. Listen, I prefer the beef burger. Yeah, the beef for us, we mm. prefer the beef burger. This is still good. If you're a vegetarian, this is a success. You yeah. wouldn't dislike this. If you're a vegetarian, this is probably the best vegetarian burger you'll ever have. As far as veggie <laughs> burgers goes, it's quite good. Interesting. The whole burger is so soft. <laughs> <laughs> the bun is so soft. The meat is like kind of like a soft patty. Yeah, the, the french patty, fries. The patty is like, is like, like firm a, but mushy. 
I don't know yes. how to explain it. Yes. But it's good. You don't even have to chew this one. It's like creamy. It's like and a spicy, delicious, creamy thing. This is an interesting eating experience. And the patty has flavor on its own. Mm hmm. Right? You know what? The patty reminds me of a falafel. That's what it reminds you of. You're absolutely right. The falafel. patty is a little bit falafel ish. But it's good. It's a little bit falafel ish. As far as vegetarian burgers goes, you're not going to find a better one. We wow. have came to our last burger. Oh my goodness, and I'm just getting full now. Wow, look at the damage we've done. Look at the destruction so in front good. of us. Wow. Okay, last one. Oh. Double patty with double cheese with onions on top. Very reminiscent of the In-N-Out burger. Okay, here it goes. This one could be one of the favorites. Oh, it's got cream sauce in the back too. This is like an In-N-Out burger. Oh, this is gonna be really good. Look at this. It's like I was on a TV commercial. It's two crust beef, oh. mustard grilled, oh. and two cheddar cheese, some caramelized onion, and the shack sauce. Okay, try it, try it, try it. Oh, Shake Shack. This is a good burger. Oh, Ivana, this might be your favorite one. Maybe. This might be my favorite one. Maybe. As of right now, what's your favorite one? Bobcat. There's a Which Bobcat. Is which is like wow. the simplest burger Simple, ever. but it's very good. You're but right to say it's very good. Because of, of its simplicity, you can taste the beef really well and yes. you can taste the sauce yes. really well. The Bobcat is the one that shows off the quality ingredients the yeah. most. It's, a simple, it's just the same burger you make at your house. That's a little true. spicy beef bun, but it's just so good. Uh, so I think good. the hot mess is up there. And I still like the uh, steak, and, steak and onion, steak yeah. and mushroom burger, uh, truffle Swiss. For the most creative, the hot mess definitely wins. I mean, egg salad, onion ring, onion ring, uh, crispy chicken wing. Okay, so let, <laughs> let's have Steve try that one. I just you. Oh. Mm. Come on. <laughs> Come on. The two cheeses you want? You gotta let me try. Let oh, me try. man. This is the best meat in burgers I've ever had in my life. This is the best beef I've ever had. This is steak. This is better than a steak you buy at the grocery store. This is like A plus, triple A grade, whatever the word is. This is amazing steak. It's in a burger. So good, man. So good. You want to have more? This one might be my favorite one, Ivana. There's so much beef in there. There's a full inch, we're in Malaysia. There's over two centimeters of beef in there. It's really thick. Oh, with cheese and onions. Bro. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. If you are a serious burger lover, this is the one. So this is if you go to America mm. and you go to the most famous spot for burgers like In and Out or what other burgers? Shake Shack is really Shake popular. Shack. You this will taste is, like this. This is a burger you get after your girlfriend leaves you and your heart's broken and you feel and you feel like nothing could ever make your day good. You buy one of these bad boys and your day is good. Or if you just got nothing to do. <laughs> or if you're just hungry. But I'm telling you, this is a special thing. Okay, let me try it. Mm. What a day. Okay, favorite burger overall, Ivana. You gotta pick. It's gonna be hard, but you gotta pick. I feel like this one. Bobcat, okay, your favorite. There's a sauce in it. It's just so creamy. I love it. Wow. I would go for the double animal. I would have a top three that I can't, I can't organize the top three. Double animal, hot mess, Swiss truffle. Truffle mm. Swiss. Those are my top three. I can't order them. They're just okay. all so good. Top three for me. The Bobcat, the Hot Mess, the Double Animal. Double Animal's dang mm -hmm. good. By the way, there are other people here that might think it's like we're fat cells. <laughs> for sure, people think we're crazy. We're kind of just out front of the restaurant in the mall. For sure, people think we're crazy. <laughs> we're like making moaning noises. Bro, I'm getting into it. This is how I do. This is how I live. This was what a day. That's my favorite one. Tell me that's not good. It's so good. That one's so good. The hot mess is close to that one though. But the bobcat is such a simple one. Try the bobcat again. The bobcat might be the best one. Man. Hard to say. Hard to say. The bobcat's so good because you've had it before. You just had a worse version of it. But it's just, it's the best version of what you've had before. I love the jalapeno sauce in it. New favorite, it's the Bobcat. The Bobcat <laughs> is the best burger I ever had. I'm telling you right now. All right, so what do you want to do here, Steve? <laughs> I'm going to take all these burgers, <laughs> go, wanna, go home. I just want to fall asleep here and take a nap. <laughs> I was just going to say the same thing. Bring these burgers into my bed and eat them in bed. Oh. <laughs> wow. Special shout out to KGB, killer gourmet burgers. I mean, these burgers are They're killer. killer. And the ingredients are on another level. The ingredients, you can just tell 
they just focus on having better ingredients than anyone else. That's right. All right. There you have it, everybody. Thanks for watching our video. Please come to KGB. Get the Bobcat. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, just get all of it. <laughs> and try it all. Like, the, like, you know? like we did. <laughs> you know? Wow. Special thanks to KGB Burgers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Below us, you'll see our most recent upload. You'll see what Malaysian food we are being surprised by, being <laughs> overwhelmed by, and being indulged by. On the left, some of our other videos. Thanks again to KGB. The owner, Steven, is a stud of a guy, just a great guy, <laughs> with a great story to tell about how he's uh, opening his business and growing it. Mm -hmm. Local Malaysian-owned gourmet burgers, and right. they are killer. Yep, that's true. See you, everybody. So, bye.